the book i'm going to talk about today is the story of india's farm crisis by jaydeep hardigar jaydeep hardigar is a nagpur based senior journalist and a core member of the people's archive of rural india uh we all have heard about farmer suicide which has been the talk of media since for a few decades now uh what this book does is it analyzes uh the phenomenon and it anal- it also talks about what are the various factors which lead farmers to commit suicide uh what makes this book different from the other books on farmer suicide like uh, agrarian distress or unraveling farmer suicide is that hardika uh analyzes the phenomenon by using the story of ram rao who is a young farmer who committed suicide but he managed to save himself so the books uh, i'll just give us a uh, small gist of the book the book starts in 2014 when uh, ram rao a farmer from hiwara village of vidharpa he tried to commit suicide he consumed corajin which is an insecticide used in farms uh, under tremendous pressure of deaths and fa- and failing harvest he consumed not only one but two bottles of corajin uh under circumstances where only one bottle of corajin would have been enough to prove lethal uh it is only because of uh, adulteration in the in those two bottles due to which he was hospitalized and saved just in time uh this entire this story makes us focus on farmer suicide as a phenomenon which has been prevalent in maharashtra and all over india since the 90s Uh, according to the National Crime Record Bureau under accidental deaths and suicide approximately 4 lakh people have committed suicide between 1995 to 2018 if we narrow down this year gap from 2014 to 2019 84000 farmers died out of which 21000 were in maharashtra and 10k belonged to vidarbha alone now there are many reasons why farmers commit suicide so uh this book goes in depth and it analyzes each factor and how it plays a significant role in the lives of the farmers so the first reason is uh globalization uh the liberalization of the indian economy in the 1990s uh, opened its market to competitions from worldwide to keep up with this competition many textile industries and businesses opened in many towns and cities Now these export specific industries opened up many challenges for small farmers who had to face competition with these big ones unable to cope up with these big companies much of the harvest uh, harvest remain unsold leaving them with no money to repay the debts they had undertaken the second challenge faced by the farmers would be the privatization of banks with an increase in uh, the cost of fertilizers and low profit margins and the ever increasing inflation uh, many farmers wish to borrow funds to continue the cultivation however more and more banks operate with the sole purpose of profit due to which uh, banks in villages often don't provide loans to farmers who have no collateral uh, this forces the farmers to borrow funds from many land owners and money lenders mainly from the informal sources who levy a heavy interest rate on the loans by doing so they get trapped in the vicious cycle of poverty and debt which often extends to many generations frustrated with the ever increasing debt and low harvest many of the farmers as well as the children choose to commit suicide uh the interesting fact about privatization is that it has also seeped into the health sector in our country the current government has in fact encouraged this profit driven insurance driven healthcare uh with low health infrastructure in villages the poor government facilities leave the farmers with no choice but to seek private treat- treatment uh moreover government hospitals in villages have no proper treatment in case of pesticide consumption which leave the farmers with absolutely no choice but to spend all of their savings on private treatment uh, a small but important factor in all of this would be uh, globalization uh, sorry would be global warming as well 
uh, the heating of the planet and the climate change has drastically reduced the level of ground water this plays an important role as it severely has as it severely impacts the crops resulting in poor quality of it uh, apart from highlighting the various causes which lead to farmer suicide uh the this book also traces down what has been the responses to it so far by the government uh unfortunately despite the increasing numbers of farmer suicide every day the government's response has largely been ignored uh it has managed to implement a few schemes uh i'll just mention two of them one of them was the bali raja scheme which provided the farmers with two wheelers to improve their transport and connectivity uh this would have been a good scheme but it failed when the fuel prices increased leading to farmers borrowing money just to pay the fuel price another such scheme was a loan waiver scheme uh as beneficial as this scheme sounds uh, sounds it also required a lot of documentation from the farmers many of whom don't have such things uh in the next section the book discusses on how the government uh, it analyzes uh, how the government has played a huge role in uh, handling the farmer suicide so um, there have been lot of accusations about the government that they have been fiddling with the data one of the most efficient ways to cover up a crisis is misleading data representation there have been many deaths which have been modified or not recorded at all giving us a very hazy overview of all uh if there is one more aspect in which the government turns a blind eye to it is a well researched policies recommended by the committees especially set up to deal with this crisis according to one such committees uh uh the condition of the farmers could be slightly better with the implementation of the swaminathan study according to the swaminathan study uh the committee suggests that the minimum support price should be 50% above the cost incurred by the farmers this is an effective way to increase the income of the farmers and also reduce their debt however despite many hearings on this policy the government is yet to implement this study coming to my learnings my learnings from this book have been insightful till now like a majority of the population i had only heard about farmer suicide from what the media portrayed of it uh this book gave me a close glance into the actual phenomenon and the causes behind it i've learned that there is so much corruption starting from the ground level which is deeply rooted into the system i also learned about the misleading role of media when it comes to portraying the truth the media we consume is so biased and it has been this way for so many years that it has failed to show us the real suffering of the farmers many times uh, when the media covers such cases of farmer suicide uh, they fail to have a follow up check after a few weeks which actually focuses on the families of the farmers and the support received by them if any a society also works on the sole purpose of making profits and this can be seen from the way the government the media the banks and the healthcare works i also learned how about the condition of women who are left behind we solely focus on the male farmers who commit suicide but not on their families which are left behind to survive most of the time the responsibility of the house falls on the women who have to work even harder to repay their debts and manage to survive at the same time while mourning their loved ones the need uh the need to find ways to get out of the impoverished situation very well knowing that if they fail to do so they'll have to follow the same steps if there's one main takeaway from this book it would be how the phenomenon of farmer suicide is independent on one particular factor i've learned that it is a multifaceted tragedy with so many intrinsic detail lines connecting one factor to the another it isn't just an ecological gender psychological or medical phenomenon it is a social phenomenon connected to each and every one of us uh i would like to end this book review with a small poem by one of the farmers who died late shri krishna kadam
it goes like different i am so unusual my life my death too will surprise you like untimely rain fond of poetry i exist like the cotton crop its roots sweet i like the hard stem of sugarcane of my death they will say how it hangs like decorations on door frames thank you Thank mm-hmm. you.